welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Olisi, the son of Mube, is my name. And um, I hope I find all of you well wherever you are. I just want to address, I hope this is the last time I'm going to be forced to address this matter because no matter how much we address it, we still get uh, questions from people, some of who would have uh, asked the same questions uh, in a previous address and some of you even argue with us uh, over that despite uh, you having approached us with questions and then when we respond to those questions you then continue to argue with us you come up with different uh, versions of a, a similar matter from different publications from different YouTube channels and from different uh, voice notes uh, which usually are not based on facts but uh, a lot of wishful thinking a lot of uh, opinions from different people so I hope this is not going to be uh, one of a series of broadcasts where I will have to be coming here to address you on a similar matter so this issue is about the forthcoming SATAC Extraordinary Summit and Zimbabwean elections, or let me say the SATAC Extraordinary Meeting and fresh elections in Zimbabwe. So the questions that we have been asked are, is there going to be an Extraordinary SATAC Summit? Uh, is Zimbabwe going to host an extraordinary SATC summit? Is Zimbabwe going to host a SATC summit? Uh, are there going to be discussions about forcing Zimbabwe into holding a fresh election following the disputed uh, plebiscite last year? So this is what I'm going to address today. But before I go ahead, May I request that you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it. So you remember that there are three questions that I have been asked. The first one, is there going to be an extraordinary SATC summit which is going to be held within the next few days or from today? The second one is, is Zimbabwe going to host a SATC summit? And the third one is, is Zimbabwe going to be forced during that extraordinary summit of the SADC, I mean of the SADC member states to hold its, free, its fresh election supervised by the SADC and the African Union? The answer to the first question is there going to be an extraordinary SADC summit within the next few days? The answer is yes. And I'm going to go through the communique from the SAT, which can you can also uh, easily and freely get on the SATAC uh, website. And I'm going to read through it. The Southern African Development Community SATC will hold an extraordinary summit of the organ troika plus SATC troika troop contributing countries to the SATC mission in the Democratic Republic of the Congo personnel contributing countries to the SAC mission in Mozambique, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and the Republic of Mozambique on the 3rd of March 2024, where in Lusaka, Zambia. So you will know that the 23rd of March uh, is actually today, So, which means this meeting, unless there have been unforeseen circumstances, circumstances is on. What is the meeting all about? This summit will be chaired by His Excellency Mr. Akainde Nishilema, President of the Republic of Zambia in his capacity as the chairperson of the SADC Organ on Politics, Defense and Security Cooperation. The SADC Organ is an institution of SADC which is responsible for the promotion of peace and security in the region. The summit will discuss the, sec the security situation in the SADC region with focus on the situation in the eastern part 
of the Democratic Republic of Congo and Capo Delgado in the northern Mozambique. The SAC will receive an update on progress of such missions, namely uh, the summit deck, that is the summit ROC, and SAMIM, that is SAMIM, that's SAMIM Mozambique, which were deployed to support the governments of the DRC and Mozambique to restore peace, security, and stability to pave the way for sustainable development. Currently, the Sadkwaka and Troika comprises the, the Republic of Zambia as chair of the organ, the United Republic of Tanzania as the incoming chair of the organ, and the Republic of Namibia as the outgoing chair of the organ. The SADC Troika comprises the Republic of Angola as the chair of the SADC, the Republic of Zimbabwe as the incoming chair of SADC, and the Re Democratic Republic of Congo as the outgoing chair of SADC. Some main personal contributing countries include Angola, Botswana, Democratic Republic of Congo, Lesotho, Malawi, Namibia, South Africa, United Republic of Zambia, of Tanzania, sorry, Zambia and Zimbabwe. Some DRC troop contributing countries are Malawi, South Africa, and United Republic of Tanzania, working together with the government of the DRC. The extraordinary summit, such summit will be preceded by the following meetings, 22nd of March, that is yesterday, extraordinary meeting of the Ministerial Committee of the Organ and the meeting of the senior officials of the Ministerial Committee of the Organ. 21st, the day before yesterday, extraordinary meeting of Interstate Defense and Security Subcommittee. So, you will understand and you will note that Zimbabwe is the incoming chair of the SADC. Uh, then the second question is Zimbabwe uh, going to host the SAT summit? Yes, Zimbabwe as the incoming chair is going to host the next SAT summit which is going to be held in August and we expect it to be held in Harare. So that must answer your third question. Is Zimbabwe going to be forced to hold or to reconduct its elections following the disputed polls of August 2023? The answer, again, is an emphatic no. Zimbabwe is not going to be forced to hold any fresh elections. Forget about that. Throw that thought, out, that thought away. There is not going to be any SADC or AU which forces Zimbabwe to hold fresh elections. You can choose to continue believing these liars who keep on telling you that there is going to be a fresh election. Zimbabwe is not even on the uh, agenda of the SATAC. It's business as usual. It's going to take over as SAT incoming chair and President Emerson Mnangakwa is going to be the one chairing the SAT as uh, the Zimbabwean head of state and on behalf of the people of Zimbabwe. So there is not going to be a fresh election Forget about that. The next election in Zimbabwe is, as I've always said previously, that is going to be held on the, in 2028, unless and until there's been a coup in the country or there has been uh, unforeseen circumstances like death of the incumbent, there's not going to be a fresh election in Zimbabwe. I hope you're not going to continue entertaining uh, those uh, wayward thoughts or entertaining those people who lie to you if you do it entertain them. Please don't make us a part of that. As I have said, this is the last time I'm going to talk about this. There is not going to be a fresh election in Zimbabwe. Nobody can force Zimbabwe to hold a fresh election. Nelson Chamisa has slid down the agenda of the SATAC. He's no longer an opposition leader in Zimbabwe. There is no ground on which he can force the SATAC to even discuss Zimbabwe because he is nothing in Zimbabwe right now. He's just an ordinary citizen. So, at the end of the day, if you choose to listen to anybody else who tells you something else, please entertain them away from my phone, away from my WhatsApp, because I am sick and tired of reporting on the same issue time and again. So, please, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it.
but also remember we are here not to please you with lies but to tell you the truth there is nothing that is going to be discussed about Zimbabwean elections ever in the SAT uh, until the time for the next election. Thank you very much.